Hi, I'm going to go about replacing the belts today on this Iowa ADR30. I picked this up and it wasn't working. I did a little cleanup on it and then I put some temporary belts in it just to see if it would work. So the belt kit has arrived and I'm going to open this thing up and get this replaced. Okay, so we got the power off, we got the cover off. And what I had to do initially was to remove the cable ties that were holding all of these assemblies together. And you're going to need to do that in order to remove uh, this connector and this connector uh, to get the transport out. There's four screws that have to be removed. There's one at the top here, one at the top here, and then there is one down here and then there's another one you can barely see it below uh, I'm trying to point to it down at the bottom down there uh, that we got to get out of there as well so let's begin by carefully removing each of the uh, wiring connectors one off the circuit board one off the transport and then you've got the two upper screws the one on the left the upper right as well and there's a bonding jumper that you're going to remove with the upper right screw. And then you've got the two lower screws to do. I typically use a uh, double-sided sticky tape on the head to get to the screws when I reinstall them because that one is kind of a blind installation. It's hard to get to, so hopefully that helps. And once all those screws are out, this is an easy transport to remove. I press the eject button. I'm not sure you needed to do that, but you can slide the transport out. Uh, and then we're on to the bench for the next steps. So here's where we picked up the uh, set of belts from. Uh, WebSparePars.com comes with four belts. Flywheel belt, a fast forward rewind, and then two counter belts. So to replace the main belts, we're going to have to remove this uh, rear backing plate where the motor is attached. There's one screw here that we're going to have to remove, and there's one screw here that we're going to remove. So again, I'll fast forward through this process, but that's a long screw to remove there, and then you've got the screw on the side that needs to be removed as well, and those will take off the backing plate slide that forward you can see those are the temporary belts that I had installed and remove those and set that aside so here's the main belt and the main belt goes around the motor pulley comes down under a flange that's inside of the outs of the flywheel uh, as I shown that in as a dotted line and then uh, goes across the top of this other flywheel so that's how the main belt goes Here's the rewind belt, and it goes around this. It goes around this pulley, and then around the motor pulley. So, from a side view, you can see what the motor pulley looks like. It's got it's got a small groove here for the small belt, and then the large flat belt rides here. So here's where the tricky part begins. We're going to start putting the belts on, begin with the flat belt. That wraps around the main flywheel and of course has to be uh, set below because the flange is underneath uh, the main part of the flywheel and then it goes underneath there and then wraps around uh, the adjacent flywheel and then I just set it in, in position temporarily and we'll come back to that in a second. So we'll grab the reverse uh, rewind belt, put that in position around the pulley on the motor, keep a little tension on that once we've got it in position, and then turn the plate over and put that belt around the pulley. So it takes a little gymnastics to make that happen, and in fact, uh, to be honest with you, I've recorded this video a couple of times and went through this process to uh, hopefully make it simple for you as well. So once we got the plate semi in position, uh, I'm going to grab my wire tool and go in there and pull that flat belt out 
and get it wrapped around the motor pulley. And as you can see, it takes a little bit to get it there. But once we've got that pulley, uh, the belt around that pulley, uh, then we'll reposition the whole rear plate assembly. It wraps first around the stud that sticks out on the lower right hand side and then uh, can slide back into position. And then we've just got some screws that we've got to put back in place, put that long screw in, and then the short screw on the side. Sped this process up so you don't have to watch a lot of video here. And then the transport, uh, the rear belts are installed and we'll work to the other side. So here's a side view uh, showing uh, the belt around the pulley. You can see the smaller belt at the top, the flat belt at the bottom, and how it wraps around uh, both flywheels and then the upper pulley as well. So now we'll start work on the counter belt. So we've got the transport flipped over. The smaller belt uh, wraps around, I believe that's the take-up reel pulley. And then you have this intermediate pulley uh, that will in turn connect to the counter assembly. So that goes around the lower part of that intermediate pulley. And I use uh, like some 14 gauge Romex wire there that's uh, that I can bend and make into all kinds of hooks. Then we take the uh, other counter pulley uh, belt and just hang that temporarily there. So now we're ready to put the transport in place. Here's the transport. I've got the counter pulley. Put a little tension on it to make sure that it stays in place. And then as I move the transport into position, uh, keep the tension on it and wrap it around the counter pulley and then uh, we're in position. So we're ready to start buttoning this thing up and with the transport in position now, reinstall those two uh, bottom screws. Again, I use a uh, double-sided sticky tape to kind of put that one in position. And then the uh, both the upper left and the upper right screws. The upper right screw has that bonding jumper that you need to install when you put that one in place. And then we'll move on to uh, installing those two connectors, back one back onto the transport board, and then we've got one onto the motherboard that needs to be installed as well. And then we're ready to uh, give this thing a test run. So we've got it all plugged back in now and giving it a test run using both the fast forward, uh, rewind, and then play to the right and play to the left, uh, stop button, uh, checking all those things out, everything works. I got the flashlight on the mechanism so you can see that that's turning. And I think we're done with this one. So I did need to adjust the speed when I finished it, uh, but it's good to go. So I hope the video is of help to you. Thanks.